All right, guys, so as far as I know, unless something dramatically changes, which I don't really foresee that happening, but anyway, it's probably gonna be my last NHL 21 video. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been a good ride on NHL 21, but I'm definitely ready to start a new chapter on NHL 22. So as the title suggests and the thumbnail, we are going to be drafting Finnish players today. All right, so that is what we are after here. The fantastic Finns. I'm gonna... Do as I do, you know, looking at you guys. I'm going to let it go for just a little bit longer again to see where we land. And boom, we get the Tampa Bay Lightning. We don't get them very often, I don't think. Fantasy draft on, keep the salary cap on, don't you dare touch my lines. Fog of War? No. I don't know why I even thought about that. Okay, I think we're good. Also, hopefully, once I get to the NHL 22 videos, you won't be hearing all the controller clicking because the controller is... A lot more quiet. A lot quieter. We get pick number 14, so we are slotted in the middle here, or at least definitely more towards the middle than the beginning or end. And we should be able to get a very good player. And I think 90 overall, Miko Rantanen, at the age of 23, making a lot of money actually, so that's gonna hurt with our cap space a little bit, but... I think we'll be all right. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take Rantanen. So I can take Tara Vinen. I also kind of want to get a good goalie. I mean, it's it's right in front of me. Tara Vinen might actually last until the next round, so I'm gonna take Tuka for now, get ourselves a very solid goaltender, and then hopefully we can still get Tara Vinen. Yep, still here. All right, well, let's go ahead and grab him. I swear in all the other drafts, I've been able to find Finnish players no problem. And now I, I can't find any. Okay, I think this is the best defenseman I can find. Essa Lindell, 83 overall. Well then. Apparently there's only 18 Finnish defensemen in the NHL. This is gonna be tough. So we can take Sammy Vatanen um, as our second defenseman there. I think all the other defensemen would probably be in like the 82 to 80 range for the most part. So yeah, I guess we'll try to take some forwards next. Okay, Kasperi Kapanen, welcome to the team. Just because why not? Eli Tolvanen, let's go. Yeah, why not? Let's just see how this team will simulate at this point. Veselainen, I remember he was like one of the first, I think, oversized cards I got when I was doing those packs to GM mode, or what was it even? It was like packs to something. Was it franchise mode simulation? It probably was. Michael Granlund, a centerman. See, so I have good face-offs. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm taking him anyway. 75 is not bad. So yeah, um, pretty decent contract as well. Okay, there we go. That's our first centerman, actually. Just noticing that now. There seems to be a lot of, like, really good depth players. Like, they got Yoel Armia, Eric Haula, uh, Donskoy, Komarov, Olimata, Arturi Lekkinen. They have, yeah, they have a bunch of and like players that we couldn't get, unfortunately. Like, Rupe Hints, I would have loved to have had. But, unfortunately, um, he's probably gone. Definitely gone. Capo caco has gone. Um... Obviously, Miro Haskinen's going to be gone. Barkov and Sebastian Ajo were pretty much just out of the question anyways, unless we got a really early pick. Well, we do need... Yeah, we need another center. We only have one right now, so Eric Haula, 82 overall. That's pretty solid. Okay, well, we'll go ahead and pick him up. We still only have two defensemen, though, which is a little concerning. Um, hopefully, in net, I can get you see what I see, Saros. New Devara. I knew he was going to be here somewhere, so... Yeah, there's our, um, I guess, first defenseman for the second pairing. Uh, assuming that he doesn't have like a plus five chemistry with someone on the first pairing. All right, we've got Olimata at 80 overall. 3.3. That's not bad. Yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and pick him up and we, have, we will have our second defensive pair. Wow. All right. This uh, draft is making me nervous, clearly. What does the goalie situation look like? Ooh. Okay. So could be wrong. Pretty sure we can take Miko Koskinen. So maybe I should just do that and then we have two pretty solid goaltenders. Yeah, let, let's do that. Sure, why not? I mean, we're not really hurting for cap space at the moment. Jonas Donskoy. Yeah, uh, you mean he's a right winger? 81 overall. Not making a whole lot of money. Two-way forward. Seems like he would be a decent pickup. Okay, never mind. He's making $4 million. That's actually more than I thought. But either way, yeah, I still think that that is a good grab. And we... I don't know. I kind of want to see what this team looks like in the edit line screen before I say anything. Because, I mean, I've had worse drafts before. And even when I looked at the edit line screen, it didn't really help me. So who knows at this point? For all we know, which probably will happen, I'm going to look at the team and be like, eh, they suck. I guess two wins all year. And then they go and win the President's Trophy. There's our guy, Yoel Armia. 
Yeah, eighty overall, two point six, and we are yeah we have quite a bit of cap space to work with here. It seems like so definitely picking him up, and he is going to be our well technically our last right winger. But who really knows if they're going to be playing in that position? They might not because a lot of them are dual positioned. We are definitely going to have too many snipers on this team, but Arturi Lekkinen at seventy nine overall. I'm pretty sure he scored a pretty clutch goal for the Canadians in the playoffs last year. I'm trying to remember, but yeah, anyway, uh, we're kind of running out of options here, so picking him up. My initial prediction is if we're going to have any chance, we'll need Rask to literally stand on his head. Miko Lettinen, a defenseman, which we still need two more of. Uh, yeah, he's making 925. Yeah, I, I guess we'll, we'll sign him up. We don't really have much of a choice. And I'm trying to really think here. We need two centers, and I have no idea if there's even two centers that will be left. I want to say with some degree of confidence that this is the hardest one yet. Um, we're going to take Honka, and then I, I don't know what else to do. We have two centers that we need. Will we get centers? Probably not. Is Filpula a center? I haven't really... Have I been looking at... Like, the entire thing. I probably have, right? He's maybe a 79 overall. So, I would think he's pro... Oh, he's right there! All right, he's 78 overall. Uh, Valtteri, Filpula. Yeah. We are absolutely taking him. We are going to need some massive performances from those young lads that we drafted. This website lies to me. I looked it up. Komarov was not born in Finland. That could be where he was raised and stuff, but it's not where he was born. I genuinely had no idea this guy was even still in the game, but Finnish legend. You see what I see, Jokinen. And that's the draft complete. Let's go edit these lines. Um, I don't think we're going to be good. Kivi Ranta would have actually been... A decent pickup for us too, but 78 overall still, I think, yeah, um, probably would have taken him, but, you know, went one before us, so I kind of couldn't. I'm genuinely kind of tempted to make a trade to get someone like Rupe Hints. I mean, I know that I'd probably have to give up like a first overall pick, but I, I, I don't want to abuse it too much, you know, so I don't know if we should maybe do that and I can give up like one first overall pick in the trades for these videos. Or if I shouldn't be able to give up first overall picks. Well, let's first of all see our lines. I'm imagining I'm going to have to probably take someone out. Uh, maybe not. It kind of looks like everyone's there, perhaps. Vesa Linen is scratched. So who is in then that should not be there? Oh, Corrali, I think, right? Yeah. I, I don't foresee this team doing too well. This is kind of similar almost to our FIFA draft, except... You know, I guess we got Rantanen. And then we also have Tuka Rask. So, uh, obviously, I'm going to say Rantanen gets the most points with maybe 75. Um, but I'm going to say the team gets like 38 wins. If they're doing really bad, we'll try to make a trade. But I feel like we'd have to make more than one trade for this to work out. Well, here we go. Let's see what happens. Yep, this is... Um, this is uh, not exactly going to plan. Okay, starting to get some wins here. That's positive and then Vancouver just says no screw it time to make some trades oh that's gonna be really difficult to get Patrick Laine he's 86 overall but for some reason has like the most trade value in the world however that is the benefit of taking the young guns <laughs> there we go boys okay so Tampa Bay has no draft picks nice this is not gonna go through but Tolvanen a third and a fourth for Laine oh Oh, okay, so we got a plus three on the first line now, which is nice. I wonder if I move... It's probably going to ruin it, right? Yeah, okay, so we'll leave that. Grandland, I'm sorry, you are on the third line now. But anyway, we got plus three on the first line. And then I'm going to try to see if I can maneuver this at all. So I can get a plus three there. Uh, I can get a plus three there, so maybe I'll do that. Uh, anything else that I could do here to kind of spice it up a bit? Mm, maybe... I think I'm going to do that because I'd rather the plus one be on the second pair. So, yeah, let's let's do that. And then there's our forwards. And in that, we still have Rask and Koskin. Okay, that's, that's all I'm going to do. Let's see if that makes any difference. So we are 15, 19, and 6 right now. Let's see if this improves it at all for the trade deadline. I don't know if it really will, honestly. Okay, starting to kind of string together some more wins here. 26, 28, and 8. 
It's definitely not looking like a playoff bound record, but I guess you never really know. Let's enter the trade deadline just to see. Like, if there's a player here, then maybe. Maybe I will go after them, but I, I don't know. Okay, so we're just gonna leave the team as it is for now, but yeah, we've got some pretty good players on the block here. Just letting you guys know. Yandel in a seventh for Holmstrom, Bowden, and a second. All right, is that gonna be the only one? No, Arizona getting two firsts for Landis Cog and Nate Schmidt. All right, I think it's kind of safe to assume we're not gonna make the playoffs. I mean, we'd have to have quite a post-trade deadline run here, and we just lost to a team that had a significantly worse record than us. At least get more wins than regulation losses, come on. I think I'm just gonna go out on a limb here and say this was not it, Chief. Okay, don't even get my hopes up. I see you here on like a five or six game winning streak or something, don't you dare. I know you're not gonna make the playoffs, stop. You're not making it, there's no way. Are they really gonna go on like the biggest winning streak of all time here? No way. Imagine they wildcarded somehow. Oh, dude! No way! What a run! If you just won like a couple more games during the year and then pulled that off, you would have been mint. But no. Look at this. How many games is that in a row? That's three, six. Holy crap. 11 games in a row to finish out the. <laughs> All right, whatever. So if we examine the entire league, Columbus came out on top by a lot there with 113 points. And let's scroll down to see where we are and where the last team that made the playoffs is. So the last team that made it in was 17 and we were at 20 with a record of 39, 33, and 10. At least we ended up with more wins than regulation losses. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, let's, uh, let's check out some of the player stats, I suppose. I saw that Rantanen was point a game, so he definitely performed. Line put up 80, okay, Teravine in 76, Howla put up 70, let's go. Probably from that uh, first line, I think he was the first line center, right? Granny Smith with 59, Kapanen 51, all right, let's scroll down here. Uh, Honka put up 13, Malta 17, how'd our goalies do? 907 and 296 from Rask, Koskinen with an 898 and 299. I'm disappointed. The goalies in the entire league, we've got Robin Lenner with 40 wins. Led the league, so good for him. 912 save percentage as well. We got a 916 from the nervous guy. Wow. All right. And let's go to the forwards slash skaters now. We've got Shifley with 104, Matthews 99, Ovechkin with 96, um, Patrick Kane. There you go. And then actually, let's. We don't normally do this, but let's check out the defenseman, because why not? Roman Yossi had the most points for a defenseman with a nice amount. Carlson put up 68, Krug 65. Okay, cool. There we go. So, there it is. Let's go and simulate the playoffs, and let us see... Actually, who was it? Was it Columbus? I can't remember. Was it Columbus? It was. Let's quickly check out their roster just to see what's going on there. They have Sean... K there it is. That's why. They have Tom Wilson, first line right wing. That just explains everything. Okay. Uh, they got Braden Point, Couturier, Juen, Gambrell. Okay. Kairou. They they have a... Like, it's a good team, you know, but it's nothing ridiculous. Defense is pretty solid. And then in net, they have... Oh, the nervous guy and uh, Dreger. So, yeah, they had two pretty good goalies. Okay. Well... Yeah, I, I don't know if that really is like a President's Trophy winning team, but apparently it is. Playoff simulation time. Uh, let's see if Columbus can go ahead, win the President's Trophy and the Stanley Cup. We've got a Canucks and Stars Western Final, and I saw the East briefly. It's Florida and New Jersey, so Columbus is done. Who's going to win the Stanley Cup? It is going to be Vancouver. All right, nice. There you go. Bakersfield, Condors with the Calder. Let's go look at the awards and whatnot. So Vancouver had Huberdeau, Bergeron, Gallagher. Wow. Okay, they had a super good team. Yeah, okay, I, I get why they won the cup. I don't know where they finished in the standings, but wow, they must have done well. They had another, well, I mean, what could have been our Finnish goaltender, uh, Ranta in net, and then Nadeljkovic as the backup at 81 overall. Okay, so they had a very good team. Let's have a quick look at the awards and there you go for the teams individual we got Shifley with the Art Ross and the Hart Yossi gets the Norris Hiberdo with the Lady Bing Kaprizov with the Calder Johnny Toes gets the Conn Smythe Bishop with the Vesna Leonard with the Jennings we've got Brandon Carlo with the Masterton Jack Adams goes to Mayer 
Bergeron with the Selkie, Shifley with the Ted Lindsay, and Austin Matthews with the Rocket Richard. There you have it. Playoff tree time. So, yeah. I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support in NHL 21. And I look forward to seeing you on NHL 22. Lots of content to come. And I can't wait for it. I'm sure you guys can't either. So, it's right around the corner. We are so close.